It's no secret that people are just having a hard time keeping the lights on right now. With hard restaurant restrictions in place, John Minadakis did not want to see one more Baltimore business pull the plug. So he took matters into his own hands. In January, the co-owner of Jimmy's Famous Seafood created a GoFundMe for the city's community of restaurants and bars. This is about local yeah. businesses helping local businesses, but in any other time, you guys would be competitors. You know, we had a moral obligation at the end of the day, and we're all in this together. His goal? Raise $100,000. To his surprise, within days, the fund raised more than double. The GoFundMe was called the Famous Fund. The Famous Fund is people helping people, it's neighbor helping neighbor, and it's everybody coming together and doing the right thing. Local celebs jumped in too. Baltimore Ravens cornerback Marlon Humphrey was one of the first to donate. Why did you decide to jump in and help? I was sitting there thinking to myself, I couldn't imagine playing football for 16 years of my life, and then one day they said, you can't do it at all, and they just take it away. And these are people's retirement funds, these are people's, you know, their restaurant is really what a lot of people, all they have. So how does it work? Local eateries apply online, and after review, the fund committee surprises restaurant owners with some welcomed news. We're going to provide your business with $15,000. Oh my God, thank you so much. We want to gift you guys $10,000. I am so, so, so grateful. One of those restaurants is Pickles Pub, located across from the iconic ballpark Camden Yards. The sports bar has been hit really hard by the pandemic and the fund has helped give hope to their team. Over the past year, co-owner Tom Leonard and his business partner gave up their own salaries to help their staff get by. It's been more than just the money. The famous fund has raised awareness. When the check arrived, Tom reinforced that it's the people who matter most. We're gonna give the money to our staff. Here's a check to each of you for a thousand bucks. So. For many restaurant owners, a helping hand is what's needed to stay afloat, even if that means pivoting. Chef Jasmine Norton is the owner of The Urban Oyster, the first female black-owned oyster bar in the country. Her restaurant was forced to permanently shut down last summer. How did it feel to have to close the doors because of the pandemic? It was tough. Um, I took it hard, to be honest. Um, I worked really hard. In need of a kitchen to reinvent her business, Hotel Revival in downtown Baltimore offered her their space free of charge, but money was still tight. So this is the kitchen you're using, but it's not really your kitchen. Right, it's a borrowed kitchen. Why do you think it's so important for businesses like yours to survive? Small businesses, especially restaurants, are the pulse of Baltimore. That is why the Famous Fund is such a big deal. When we received our funding, I pour it right back into that fund because I want to see another restaurant come up and survive. So that's the spirit of Baltimore, huh? That's the spirit of Baltimore. More than 30 restaurants and bars in the downtown area have received aid so far. The fundraising continues to be strong, now surpassing $450,000. I think that anybody can do this anywhere in America. You have to be there for that corner bar. You have to be there for your favorite restaurant because if you don't, unfortunately, they're not going to be there. Wow. Uh, so speaking of help, Morgan, you have some, some hopefully some good news about the famous fund to tell us about. Is that right? We sure do, Carson. I have to say, Baltimore sure knows how to take care of its home because after hearing about the great work that the Famous Fund is doing, the convenience store chain Royal Farms has decided to donate $25,000 worth of PPE equipment. We're talking hand sanitizer, masks, gloves to all of these restaurants who are in need, and that is in addition to the Famous Fund's monetary gifts. So certainly brighter days ahead, Carson. Well, right. great stuff there. Yeah. That's a good food. Thanks, tour. Morgan. What's that? That's a good food town. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Baltimore. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, by the way, to learn more about the famous fun, today.com. Today.com to learn more. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.